so i've been working as a carer for a while now and i just want to kind of share with you the qualities that i believe every carer should have Some people might have strength in some of the qualities I'll be sharing and some people might still need to maybe work on some of these things because everyone is a work in progress anyways. Yeah, I'll just share some of the qualities I've seen in myself, I've seen with people where I work with and I just believe our qualities that every good carer should have and will help you in your job role or if you're caring for a child that has disability or you're caring for your parents or whoever you're caring for it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that is being paid to be a carer so i just believe everyone that is caring for another individual should have these qualities the first quality as the name suggests a carer should be a person that is caring being caring is not just something that you you just say it's something that it shows in the way you live your life it's like almost putting another person first it's almost like you're always trying to attend to the need of someone and to attend to someone's needs, paying attention to details of studying the mood of the person you are caring for and knowing what to do at the right time and actually knowing when to come in and support that person. So being a good carer and being like having this caring spirit is such a big umbrella for so many things, for so many attributes. So I will just keep it at that. And then I'll move to the CCs of nursing. So in in the UK, the NHS, they have what they call the CCs of nursing and it's like all these attributes that a person taking care of another person should have which is care, compassion, competence, communication, commitment and courage. All these are great attributes for anyone that is caring for another person. The other attributes I really really love about carers is empathy. There's difference between sympathy and empathy. So sympathy is you seeing someone and being sorry for that person. Empathy is actually seeing someone and doing something about it. So I just kind of almost put most carers in this category. Caring job is not for everybody. It's not everyone that can do it. It's you seeing people and not just being sorry for that person and stepping in to help that person. To be a good carer you have to be empathetic when you see someone is sick or you see someone in need or something is you have to take that step that is necessary to meet that need that's one of the attributes i really love about carers and this will lead me to being observant so being observant as a carer is an attribute that every carer should have as a good carer you can't be negligent that means that when you see something you have to raise it for example, when you're dealing with someone that maybe cannot verbally communicate or cannot express their pain or something, you even have more responsibility because what you're seeing as a slight bruise or a slight blister could be deeper than that because this person lacks the capacity to communicate how much deep pain they are feeling. So as a good carer, you have to be very observant. You have to make sure you are ticking every box for the person you are caring for. This attribute is one of the attributes that I see a lot around people I work with is just being positive. Because you are dealing with people that lack some capacity in one way or the other, you have to be encouraging, you have to be positive, you have to, because you can't just bring bad spirits now. <laughs> you can't bring bad spirits, especially when you are dealing with people that have, lacks like a lot of capacity and all. So you have to be like, positive encouraging because you're caring for people that are going through medical conditions some people are going through like lifetime condition you might be caring for your child that is in need or something so you just need that courage to keep encouraging such person and staying positive and strong for that person so that they can also go through life like positively because your energy will definitely affect their energy so you just have to have that positive energy I gain my strength from 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 studying the word of God from praying and having my having relationship with God because sometimes it could be draining working as a carer could be sp spiritual like draining and you're always it's almost like you're always giving out even though you are getting paid please 
don't get me wrong but especially if you are a person that is caring for a family member and you are always giving out you're always there for that person sometimes you might feel down even you yourself might need that energy you might need that courage but one thing that has helped me is spending time with god is praying is fasting is reading the word of god aloud is yeah just spiritual exercises so that is one thing that has been helping me as a carer another attribute that i believe every carer should have is ability to keep record so when you are caring for people for example if you are working in a hospital a care home setting social care and all of that you need the ability to keep record because definitely you are not going to be with that person seven days a week 24 hours a day so definitely you are not the only person caring for that person other people are also caring for that person so ability to keep a record and hand over effectively is such a good attribute so when you see things you don't just deal with it yourself you need to be able to like hand it over to the next person taking over from you and also when you notice that okay when you do something for a person it makes that person happy you don't keep such like such thing to yourself you need to be able to hand it over to people oh when i play this music it makes so 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 and so happy so that other people can also help that person maybe that person enjoys that music so when whenever you notice something about the person you are caring for is something that you should record so that it can be added to that person's care plan to support that person in a better way so the ability to keep record of your observation and to tell other people that cares for such person is such a good attribute i believe every carer should have and lastly before i finish this video working as a carer could be very exhausting it could be challenging sometimes it depends on the category of the people you are caring for caring is like wide that is so wide some people are caring for people like with mental health issues so some people are caring for people who are autistic some people are caring for people who has learning disability dementia stroke and um, brain injuries so it's such a wide thing so depending on the kind of people you are working for or working with it could be very challenging i just want to encourage you that this job role can also be rewarding because yeah there are so many need in our environment so i kind of see I kind of see caring role sometimes almost like a mission because you are actually doing what's like majority of people will never do so for you to see someone that would do the kind of job you are doing is very rare see don't take me wrongly it's very rare so the fact that you are caring for other people is almost like you are according to a ministry ministry of caring or kindness or something like that so you are doing something and you deserve you deserve a round of applause <laughs> you deserve a round of applause i just want to encourage you that sometimes when you're tired sometimes when you feel exhausted i just want to encourage you that you are doing really well and you are doing so much for the society you are looking after the people that maybe some people will not even like dare to even try to attempt to help and i really want to encourage you and say thank you for caring for other people so this job can be rewarding especially when you put smiles on the faces of the people you're working with let me give you an example one day i was working and one of the people i was caring for touched my hand and he was like oh your hand is really cold and i'm like yeah my hand is always cold in the summer in the winter i was just like that and, and he was like you have a really warm heart moe you are a very kind person like that made my day like i was like what <laughs> just that statement eh, is stuck in my head and i was so encouraged that day so some of you might have a day like that and some of you might have never had a day like that and one of the people you are caring for has come back to say thank you or say a sweet word like i just said to you but just know that even if they can't say it with their mouth even if they can't express it god is really happy with you like god is happy that you are taking care of these people the people you are caring for they know that you really care about them yeah thank you for watching this video to this very point in my next video we're going to be talking about money this time around how much a carer would earn in the uk like roughly the amount a carer would earn i'm going to be discussing some of my salary with you and you're going to see 
if it's something that you can do or it's something that you want to try or not yeah so till my next video and i'll see you bye